So I got investigated for, so I couldn't say anything for super long. So now that I can say something after this investigation from court, they went through my phone. They went through basically everything that I have. And I'm still like right here. And I got an order of protection. And they found no wrongdoing or anything. So let's see, let me grab these papers. actually counter it's been fake news and I have everything from court of this whole like plotting scheming trying to get money out of me all this blackmail all this crazy stuff has basically been happening but disorderly conduct harassment Aggravated, aggravated harassment in the first and second degree, identity theft, menacing, criminal mischief, and stalking. So, I also want to say anybody who was covering up a tattoo or anything, keep that appointment. And anyone who burnt my merch keep that appointment and if you were thinking of burning merch go burn it because I don't really want you in my merch if you would think that I would do something like that everybody else knows me can also keep going the age of said person March 5th 1995 I have full background of everything that happened from text messages you can't really doctor text messages in court it's not really how it works so of all these documents I have documents of her last arrests which she had eight basically doing the same shit I have text messages of her saying chink and nigger calling me a chink lover And this is all the paperwork. I have so much paperwork that I'm getting confused right now. It's too much paperwork, actually. I can't show y'all this because it has addresses on it. I can't show y'all this. Let me see what I can show you guys. But for anyone who thought it was me or anything there you go I can tell you a whole story I dated someone for a year and they would ask me for money and all this stuff money help with their brand all this stupid shit which I didn't know she did to her last boyfriends all that shit basically blackmailed me and was like if you don't I have the messages Basically, like, if you don't, give me money and follow me. I will make it out that you're a pedophile. And I even hate saying that fucking word. Because that shit's kind of crazy. 
but I have all the, they printed out all the messages of blackmail, harassment, uh, constant messaging, asking for money. Uh, so, yeah, everything's, everything's like in court right now. Remember I said I was gonna go the legal route, guys? I did. Y'all just had to wait. And text messages are not something that you can delete. They always exist, so keep that in mind when you're doing weird shit. They always exist. You can't scrub them. Your phone service has them. So before I could even go to the courts and everything, before my lawyer even like would take it. He basically investigated me and was like, we have to see if you're innocent because we're not taking this. <laughs> you're not innocent. And he did all that shit. We got an order of protection. She can't contact me. If she tries to talk about me or anything, she goes to jail. If she tries to have anyone else talk about me, she goes to jail. Um, basically all I could really do, I wish I could have talked to you guys before, but I was going through this fucking investigation and couldn't really do nothing. And if there's any more info that you need, I have everything, I'll literally get it posted. I'll, um, I'll ask somebody to post it. I don't wanna really post it on my main ship because I don't want to give it that much energy. But if anybody has any questions, you can ask fucking questions. I have all the paperwork right here. It's a big ass stack of everyone literally plotting against me and talking to each other on how to plot. Turns out she's 29. Um, I have papers of her basically doing everything bad. Like anything bad that you could possibly name. Like it's just blackmail spree and like everything. I met her at Utah Festival. And from then on, we were like talking and then it started being blackmail. So I'm glad that you guys, some of you guys burnt your merch, good. I'm so happy that you did that because now I can see who actually was like, really knows me. I had people like turn their back on me, who I gave opportunities to. I literally help everybody. That's my thing. That's literally all I do is help. So if you wanna like, uh, I can name people, but I don't really wanna do that. But whoever messaged me tried to do, uh, tried to call me crazy shit, don't really care. Cause the truth obviously is out now. That everybody's trying to blackmail me and do stuff. So I don't give money to people. It's not a thing. I'm not giving anyone money. So, you're not getting money. I lost, uh, what is it? I lost my Zoomy stuff for this. I lost a lot of sponsors. Uh, they didn't even ask me about the situation. Uh, basically lost like a tour at the step off tool tour and uh that shit fucked me up obviously 
but I just like had to like calm down and be like, oh, we're just gonna go the legal way because I'm not gonna just fight fucking people online when I know what the fuck happened. And I could just give somebody my fucking phone and they can see exactly what fucking happened. I can't really doctor shit, so. I'm completely in the clear. My voice is fucked. And my hearing is fucked from fucking touring. Yeah, and whoever, if people were selling their merch, trying to get rid of all of it, I'm so happy that some of y'all got to buy it at like a discounted price. Because that's even better. Did you go to court, bro? Yes, obviously I went to court. I did all this while you guys were fucking flaming me. And doing all this shit. I just went straight to the lawyer and just chilled. So I'm happy that 10,000 people in here. I'm happy that uh, I got to see who actually is like real. And don't switch up now because if you are on that side, stay on that side. And I kind of don't want you at my shows. People think that I'll do that. I just kind of don't want you at my shows. Um, producers too all the producers who hit me up well some of them and called me a creep even though I gave them their first opportunities and stuff peace out I got to like nuke a bunch of people now so a lot of y'all are like nuked so I'm so happy that people who hit me up like fucking germ and Shoki and everybody good people hit me up asked me what the situation was got got my side didn't even do anything we're like oh yeah we're riding I can't talk online all the time so now I know my riders uh, my brother Chad everybody them niggas stuck, stuck with it. Did all that good shit. Um, and I don't know why you would think that I would do that when some of y'all, I stayed up certain nights when y'all would hit me up and be like, I'm about to kill myself. And I would stay up and talk to y'all all the fucking time and go out my way to be like, yo, I'm like a fucking, bro, it's like a diary. Like, you can use my DM as a fucking diary, bro. You're good. So. I'm just happy to clear the fucking air. Like. I can finally talk about this shit. Yeah, I didn't name everybody. Because I know some people just don't want to be fucking named. But I just know the people who uh, stuck, stuck with it. Stuck with it. all the people who were commenting like oh the fucking he can't go the legal route I seen people who were like you're not gonna go the legal route I just fucking went the legal route bro, bro so and also all these pages who posted negatively about me never posted me before when I drop music, never posted me. So why now? There's like a YouTuber made five videos on it. You never talked about me before. So why now? It kind of shows me a lot about human nature and shit. So let me go through some of these documents. I don't really want the paperwork too much out there. I'll post it later. But I'll, I'll, I'll have someone else post it. I also have the person's criminal history. Counts of assault. Counts of disorderly conduct. 
it's kind of crazy for someone who's 29 to be doing this to somebody. And to get an order of protection is not fucking easy. They have to be like tripping. They have to be like tripping. I have an order of protection. I'm about to have a fucking restraining order. So. I can't show y'all this. There's a bunch of addresses and shit. I don't want to show everybody addresses and everything. But. can't show y'all. Dan, there's so many addresses everywhere. But she has done this to multiple people. And I'm kind of like, if somebody from before who she's done this to would have stepped up and done what I just did, she would have, this wouldn't happen to me. So I'm kind of nipping it in the bud right now. Because if I nip it in the bud right now, she can't do it again to anyone else. I just go the legal way. And if anybody talks, basically, about me, jail. If anybody does anything about me, suing. I'm just going, like, straight up aggro mode because this shit's getting fucking annoying. And it's fucking up my tours. Um, my number was leaked, my, uh, address was leaked, she told people to come to my house, um, someone tried to vandalize my car, um, fuck's going on, so, yeah, I am locked in, cause it's fucking, this shit's fucking annoying. Someone tried to vandalize my car. People were trying to contact my parents' work. It's like I had to go the legal route. Yeah, so, if all y'all are switched up, bye. Peace out, man. Peace out. And I'm crucifying anyone else who does anything crazy to me. Like, you're getting crucified. It's a lot of, like, jibber-jabber. But other than that, I'll post a statement. Probably, like, later. I'll, um... Everybody who sees the live knows that I'm fucking exonerated now. My tour's fucking canceled because of this. Which was gonna be probably the best tour we went on. But. I'm just gonna keep it rolling. I also found out. That her leaking stuff. She was like leaking information. That was getting my music leaked. So we know who is the reason that I haven't fucking been dropping music. Because everything that I was doing was getting dropped. There was only like two people who had my music. So that's why I haven't been making music. I actually went... uh, I went away for a minute and tried to like uh, get my mind straight because this is a lot. Like this is a lot. I went. Y'all got me fucking fishing. I never went fishing, and when people started walling on me, I was like, "Damn, I'm going to legal route, so I can't say nothing. What do I do? I have to fucking go fishing. Who the fuck goes fishing? That shit was so boring. But it was the only thing that I do that would clear my fucking mind."
drinking a fucking beer and going fishing. It was the only thing that could clear my fucking mind. But I'll post whatever I can because I can't really post too much. Now, fishing is cool, but it's just like, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be fishing. <laughs> when is dog years coming? Dog years is gonna come back literally immediately. Because now that we're out of zoomies, we have more freedom actually to do whatever designs like we want. We don't gotta make it like friendly. Friendly for everybody. But I basically got called every name in the book. I got called a woman beater, which if I really were to fight a girl, I don't think she would have like a little bruise on her, like little bruises. So maybe that's from um, Muay Thai, Muay Thai class that we go to all the time. Maybe that's what that's from. Maybe because you have bruises on your legs from getting leg kicked in Muay Thai. I call it like a manipulator. I don't even talk. So who the fuck am I a manipulator? And I got called a... I'm trying to list it until... I'm listening it until ones that didn't hurt until ones that like did hurt. What else did I get called? Emotional abuser? I don't fucking talk. So where is the fucking emotional abuse? Then I got called a pedophile. Which is fucking crazy. I was like, what the fuck? But I found out everybody was like... Found out everybody was like... Plotting against me, trying to get money out of me. Trying to fuel their fucking... uh, Fuel their shit. And it was basically like, if you don't do this... Then I'm gonna say this. Online. But... I went to court. And I'm chilling. So, peace out, guys. All this canceling shit, fucking stupid. And, uh, what up, Night Lavelle? All this shit's fucking stupid. I literally live with my parents. Like, I live with my parents. What the fuck am I doing? I got shit, fucking books and stupid shit. I'm a normal fucking person. They're trying to make me out to be like some fucking Titan evil mastermind. Definitely not a Titan evil mastermind. But if you kind of make me go to the, if you make me go to the mastermind area of this, I can, like, I can be a real big dick if you fucking make me be it, like. But everything's good in court. I'll make a fucking statement. Thank you for everybody who was chilling during this time. Does he not make money or does he not? I like being here, bro. It was peaceful. It's peaceful and nobody can really say anything about me. I'd be like, oh, he's the fucking dick. Did this. And it's sad that this is my first time being like uh, in the fucking limelight. Nobody cared about me before this. Nobody gave two fucks about what Zilla was doing. So... I'll keep posting shit about this now because I know some people aren't going to see this fucking live. 
I know someone's gonna clip it. So, also let me show you that. Let me just show you the crest, so y'all know that I'm not fucking capping. Let me find it. The crest of it signed by the judge. And that music is Nujabi's fucking it's like a homework edit let me see if I can find this fucking paper sorry the papers are getting all like jumbled together oh here here's some cool shit Fool me once, Bill Clinton. Now send me shit, you chink smasher. Send me shit, you chink smasher. Also, anybody getting blackmailed by somebody? Just like, bro, just go to the fucking court. Go to court about it. Because they'll find what's really going on. And they'll see you getting, like, uh, people trying to manipulate you and shit. Yeah, I can't find one with the crest on it. I'll post it. I'll post it when I find everything. But, uh, yeah. I have a lot of shit that I can, like, post. But I'm just gonna leave it at that right now. And I'll go live again and explain again. But for now, I'm out of here. Thank you for who stuck around and actually defended me. You guys are cool, even though you didn't even know. You were just defending. Y'all don't even know me. But y'all know I wouldn't do anything like that. Like, I'd talk to everybody. But. Also, I have messages between every girl talking to each other. And basically, like, trying to corroborate stories. So. If any of them talk jail if anybody talks about me jail jail I have to go this route and I hate going like legal routes because it's fucking stupid but peace out